This is gonna go over the heat soak problem that you see on the J-Series V6. It has nothing to do with summer fuel. It has nothing to do with winter fuel. It has to do with these three sensors right here. I'm gonna show you where they are on the vehicle as well. These actually came off a 1999 Acura TL with a 3.2 liter J-Series. TL seem to have this problem and the Honda Accord seem to have this problem as well, the V6s. Uh, I think I've heard maybe the Honda Odyssey has it, but not too sure, but uh, so these three sensors all talk to each other, right? Talk to the computer and the computer needs to see correct readings from all of them. This is their uh, intake temperature sensor. Yeah, air intake temperature sensor. This is the um, water temperature, temperature sensor, which gives you the reading on your dash of the temperature. And this one is a coolant temperature sensor, which controls the fans um, behind your radiator. So, this one is located on the intake manifold on the driver's side towards the firewall. You can see in the video right now. This one sits on a coolant pipe right, you know, right near or right below the EGR valve. And this one sits right next to the thermostat housing or in the thermostat housing. I can't remember, um, but I'm showing you videos of it right now. Yeah, and it's flat. This, this one's flat. So doesn't stick in very far uh, when it goes into the when it goes in the block of the housing. Uh, to get these two out, you need a 19 millimeter socket. I always like to paint my sockets uh, bright color so I don't lose them. So two 19 here, 19 there. This one is a 24 millimeter. So you need a 24 millimeter socket to get it out or a wrench. Basically the heat soak problem is you'll drive your vehicle to a store or wherever you shop for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you come out and you start it and the vehicle like sh like shudders and shakes and it wants to die. To combat that, I gave it gas, revved the engine a little bit and got it going. I might have had to sit there a minute, let it rev up, you know, so it doesn't die. You're going to get a check engine light. It's going to be for a misfire. But it's not really a misfire, it's misleading because it's it's showing you a misfire because the knock sensor can't detect that it's actually not a misfire, it just sees that the engine is shaking. So the knock sensor says, oh, I'm shaking. I'm gonna throw out a misfire code. And it's gonna, you know, it could be any of the P0300s or even a, um, a random cil cylinder misfire, uh, but don't let that throw you off. It's not the gas, because if it had anything to do with the gas, the winter gas, it would have happened a long, long time ago. Honda came out with a fix for it where you had to change out the, the uh, computer and reprogram it. But I've heard that that doesn't even work sometimes. I'll put links in the description below where you guys can pick these up on Amazon. But uh, if you're experiencing this problem, I know it's not, it's, it's the car is what, 20 years old now, 21 years old. But I still think there are a lot of them out there. People hang on to them. So if you're experiencing the problem, change these three sensors and you should be good to go. Uh, change them out, top off the coolant, burp the coolant system if you have to. Make sure you don't switch these, just make sure you don't flip these, <laughs> flip these sensors, install them in the wrong place, the air and the uh, water temp sensor. They will fit in to, uh, to each different, to each hole. Yeah, the threads are exactly the same. The depth is the same too. So they will fit into each, each hole. You can tell this one's a little bit darker because it's been sitting in the intake manifold, the upper plenum, and it has carbon on it. So just don't switch those two up. And um, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. Hopefully this has uh, helped some of you guys out. Leave a comment below. Tell me if it helped you out. Cure the heat soak problem. I don't know if a lot of guys are seeing it still. I would assume so. A lot of these Honda J-Series V6s out there. Um, but yeah, don't be fooled by the... Uh, don't be fooled by the misfire code, and um, it's, it's kind of a really random problem. Like I said, if you go to a store, park the car 15, 20 minutes, you come back out, you fire it up, it starts shaking and, and feels like it's going to die on you. You give it gas and it stays lit or stays alive, and you drive it, you throw it in reverse, drive it, it doesn't happen anymore once it's, once it's going. So there you go. Hopefully this helped you out, save you guys some money. If you can, subscribe. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.